Hi guys, got a request from this chap whose name I can't pronounce to make a hovercraft from a radio controlled helicopter. Now, a couple of problems there. One, I think it's a backward step. If you've got a radio controlled helicopter, why would you want to downgrade it to a hovercraft? But, having said that, um, it should work. I don't happen to have any helicopters that I want to take apart at the moment. I do have some infrared controlled helicopters. So I was wondering if I could go halfway. I'll see if I can fit one of these into some sort of styrofoam body without taking it apart at all just fitting it inside and using the power from the rotors to lift the hovercraft. I'm not quite sure what I'll do about getting forwards and backwards out of it. I might just have to have forwards um, by putting some vents on the back. So that's the plan. I'm just going to see if I can make one or make a hovercraft type body out of probably pizza trays and see if it works. The helicopter's on charge at the moment, so we'll take a few measurements, see what we need to do. That looks like about 170 millimeters, tip to tip. The helicopter itself about 180 long. There's a pizza tray. So 170 will be quite a large circle in the middle of that. stick some uh, black plastic bag or something as the, uh, whatever we call it, underneath. So, a bit of measuring then.
sort of size that that's going to rotate in. to build up a, a wall all the way around it, a circle. It's going to be sort of that sort of height. I could just stick it on top and see if it could lift it. But it'll look a bit better if I build something all the way round. Not sure what to use though. Maybe cardboard, maybe polystyrene. I'll have a think. Moving on a bit. I found some clear plastic. Uh, it was a box long tube. and I've cut all around the edge in these little feather shapes so that I can twist it into a circle. So that's going to be my air duct and then the helicopter will sit inside it. I've got to cut a hole at the back so the tail can stick out. So that'll sit in there. On the bottom section I've left enough to actually attach the helicopter to. And that's about it. The reason we're using this clear plastic tube is this is infrared controlled. So it's got to have line of sight to actually pick up the infrared. And worse than that the infrared detector is on the bottom, so I'm not sure if it's going to work at all. But I'll hot glue it in place, just on the, uh, whatever we call these bits, skids, so that it sits on there, and I can still reach the on-off switch then underneath. And stick that on top and see what happens. Just very quickly to show what I meant about this plastic um, packaging, plastic tube. I've cut one side off it and then cut these little feathers all the way along so that we can bend it. To put this plastic in place I'm putting double-sided sticky tape underneath each of these petals and working my way all the way around. And then I've got to do the same with the bottom. I'm hot gluing the helicopter onto the bottom section. I'm using that hole I used to align the cutting so that I can look straight through it. I don't think the camera will pick it up, but I can see the bottom of the shaft. So that means I should have the helicopter perfectly aligned. Before we go any further, I'll just demonstrate the helicopter stuck to the base of this hovercraft I'm making. So we've got the basic hovercraft, and that's probably enough, but I will see if I can fit the top on. <laughs> 